Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will be painting some wine glass and a pouring bottle of wine and I decided to paint this subject because well I find it really interesting to paint something quite strict when it comes to lines because we'll be painting a glass um, and a bottle so we need some straight lines and perfect curves <laughs> so today we'll only be using four colors and we have here titanium white, my huge bottle of titanium white. We have a red, we have orange, and we have our black paint. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have taped my canvas here, canvas paper, just for, um, so that it doesn't move while I'm painting. But for sketching purposes, I'll be using my pencil and I won't be using any background colors for this one. It will be very, very simple, but it will be done quite carefully, not very loose, and we will be observing um, straight lines again. And I don't know how this is going to end or how this is going to um, be finished, but we'll try our best to um, be precise and proportion proportionate when it comes to the shapes. And I'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial. So let's begin now. And let's begin by sketching first the subject. I'll be using my pencil, which is not very common to when it comes to my sketching part. So I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna draw first the wine glass. Again, I'll be freehanding everything. We won't be using any ruler because not that I'm against that but i try to avoid that because i want to learn how to take control of my hands all right so let's begin drawing a diagonal line so just sketch parallel lines like this right and then i'm gonna do the first curvy curvy <laughs> The first curve, so I'm gonna do like that, okay? Now, this is like drawing eyes. I mean eyes uh, for vision because you know the right eye is correct and then you you have a problem with doing the left eye so it's it's the same thing so I'm gonna do my best to get the same curve on the right side all right I think I yeah, I think I did well. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm quite uh, scared um, to have a hard time with doing that second curve. But I think I did well. And then we're just going to connect. Okay, so the tape... <laughs> is not okay so i'm just gonna connect the two points here so i'm gonna make a straight line just like that and i think that was good <laughs> okay all right so that's the wine glass oh that's nice i'm so happy so next we're going to do the bottle of wine you know i don't drink wine guys i really don't like the taste of wine uh, but I like the look of a wine glass and pouring wine for the bottle I'm gonna start first by drawing the mouth of the bottle it's just a straight line okay like that and for the second part or the second line I'm going to make it quite longer for the third line as well the fourth line is quite shorter just like that and I'm going to 
connect it and I'm going to make another longer line like that and then like that okay and then let's do another longer line we will be connecting the lines later for now let's just do the basics okay and then I'm going to make a straight line up to here also here okay and it's going to flare up like that like that oh I love this one because I'm getting um, more control of my hands and then here comes the second curve just be slow don't rush it and I think that's fine and then you can go hmm, I think I need to correct something all right like that okay I think I'm going to all right so I need to make some adjustments okay like that can you move <laughs> okay all right like that all right I think that was pretty nice pretty uh, straight okay so now that we're done with the sketch part everything will all be fun and games so I'm just gonna connect this like that and like that okay and this will be thickened later with paints like that okay so let's begin under painting now now that we're done with the sketch part which is the hardest part I mean that's for me guys the hardest part for me is sketching the subject so I think I'm gonna go first with the bottle because that's the easiest part so get your black paint Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to tell you that we will also be using some yellow, yellow paints. So get your black, then get your red. So just for you to see my palette. Okay, I'm going to get my red. We don't need too much paint today, to be honest. I'm going to get my white. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to get my yellow paint later. But let's uh, work with what we have here. I'm going to wet my brush. I'm using a small square brush. Okay. I'm going to get my black. Okay. I'm going to add a tiny bit of red to that. Because we don't want pure black. Okay. We don't want pure black. This is wine. So I'm going to use that to underpaint. Although the red is not really visible. Um... It's still there you know we don't want super black okay we're just gonna cover it with black paint for now before we do the highlighting I think this is one of the easiest um, tutorials that I have but also challenging it's like I don't know the, the combination of both because um, It's easy, but at the same time, it's not, um, it's not something that you can be really loose when you're painting it. You have to be quite careful and precise somehow. Okay, I need to add water just for smoother application. I'm so scared to touch this. Like that.
So again, the purpose of this painting is for me actually to learn to control my hand and for my viewers to learn how to control theirs. Again, the subject is quite easy. I think anyone can do this um, without having a hard time really. It's all about control. Control of your hand movement especially. Like this. Right, like that. That would be the underpainting for the bottle. And I feel like I need to widen it a bit just to be, yeah, like that. Okay. All right, like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. But then again, I... So even if there are sketch lines, just remember where you put them or where you... Or just remember the location of the sketch lines because we are going to underpaint it and we will be covering the sketch lines. Okay, try to control. And then we go to do the detailings. Again, we will be needing some yellow colors, so get your mid yellow. All right. Okay, so that's basically the underpainting for the bottle. It's just like silhouette, but it's really nice that we were able to do that because that was kind of hard to be um, not really free when it comes to hand movements. And again, that's a practice. Okay, So I'm going to use a pretty huge brush for underpainting my glass. So I'm going to wet my brush now and we're going to get our gray color. I'm gonna get my titanium white okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black okay it's super tiny guys that okay just like this gray color doesn't even make a lot of difference okay maybe this gray okay I'm gonna try to use this okay perfect that's the gray that I want so again just underpaint your glass try to control your hand not to Okay, can I just, can I, excuse me guys, I'm just going to get the brush, uh, the, the yellow paint guys, sorry. So again, I'm just going to place my phone right here. Okay. I already got the yellow paint. Let's continue on the painting. The glass. So just be careful. Okay. So... Okay, I'm gonna make some quite, uh, what they call this, dark, um, dark gray. I'm going to make it quite dark. 
and the left side quite light. Again, just try to be careful. Kind of like this subject already. You know, it's not very common that I do this type of uh, tutorial. I've done some glass painting tutorials, but um, it's only because I want to try them. Okay, again, I'm just going to make the right side quite dark to add some dimension to the wine glass okay make sure you kind of blend as well the colors okay just like that and we're going to delete those colors that went outside the sketch lines don't worry too much about that one it's just paint we can always paint over when we're using acrylic so much easier okay this blend all right and then i'm gonna allow this first to dry we don't want to ruin the the blended colors okay i care less about the bottom part because it will be covered with wine all right okay so now i'm gonna use a more pointy brush for detailing okay i'm gonna get some dark gray colors okay just get your dark gray and we're going to apply that on the corners of the glass you can just use your fingers okay on the mouth Okay, like that and again on the sides of okay just gonna use my fingers like that I hope I'm making sense um, as I do it I think some some techniques are better explained when you're actually watching them you know they're explained more or better in action than in words so I hope I'm making sense right now like that okay we will be correcting some lines that went outside the sketch lines later. Now we're going to do the wine part. I think this is wet, but it's dry enough for me to be able to paint over, I mean, paint something over it. So I'm just going to get my red. Get your red, guys. Just pure red. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. Okay, so this red. Just to make the red quite dark okay i'm gonna add some water let's start doing the wine part okay it's pretty wet
Right, and that? Okay. All right, so for now it's gonna be like that. I'm gonna get my orange so get your orange guys I'm going to apply it somewhere here again the underpainting is still wet you can actually wait uh, wait to <laughs> wait wet you can actually wait to dry it or wait for it to dry first before you do more layering but i think i'm fine with uh, doing wet on wet okay and then i'm gonna use some water i'm gonna use my fingers to kind of apply it this way all right like that okay i'm gonna wash my brush out okay, wash your brush out I'm gonna get my black again I'm doing wet on wet okay so if you're not really comfortable doing wet on wet you can use your hair dryer to dry first the paint before you proceed to adding more details but I think I'm good so I'm just gonna make some black markings here this is to give it um, reflections. Like that. down here and I'm gonna continue now all the way down just like that okay and I'm going to get my gray get your gray and just apply a thin or a gray color actually it's too dark okay like that and then we will be correcting some areas later i'm gonna wet my brush and i'm going to spread some gray colors inside that handle all right like that okay what should we shout now okay. and then we're going to get our titanium white so get your white just pure white guys we're going to go back to the glass and just lighten some areas. As I told you guys, I don't drink wine, but I do drink uh, I do drink beer. I think beer is more delicious. Uh, I don't like the taste of wine. I feel like it's just not for me. It tastes like medicine. I don't know. It does taste like uh, medicine. Okay, where's my... Alright. But then again, even if I don't drink wine, I love looking at wine glasses. They are just gorgeous and very classy.
ok some white right here Okay, I'm gonna get my pointy brush for more detailing. We have it done the pouring line. I'm gonna get my white. Okay, some black. Right, like that. Okay. <sighs> I think I have to correct this one because it needs to be extended here. So I'm going to get again my dark red color. I'm just going to extend it, okay? Because I feel like. Okay, just like that. I'm going to extend it. And then I'm going to get my black. Just extend it. All right, like that. Okay, neat. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Let's do the for uh the pouring wine. Okay, so for the pouring wine, it's basically the color of the wine in the glass but it will be um quite blurry because the glass makes the water <laughs> makes the wine look like um no the glass makes the wine appear more blurry you know light play the effect of the glass so i'm gonna get again my red color I'm going to add a tiny bit of orange just to make it quite orangey. Again, red and tiny bit of black and water. So we're going to start the drawing right here. Okay, just like that. And we're going to make the second part right here. Make the line quite wobbly so that you suggest some sort of um, liquid form. And I'm gonna paint in the inside or the space between those two um, wobbly lines that we just created. This is just the underpainting. 
for the uh, for the pouring line. All right, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna add some effect. All right, now we're going to do the detailing of the waters. I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my black color. So get your black paint. And let's do some detailing. I think this is really fun. I think this subject that I chose is quite fun. I mean, we can finish early without compromising um, realism, which is my style. Okay. It's going to be extended here. darken it a bit all right like that okay we're almost done guys and now we're going to make the wine appear to be, we're going to make the wine appear um what <laughs> i cannot construct the sentence properly we're going to um uh, make the wine appear as if it's inside the glass because it's pouring wine so we need to see some translucence right that's what i was supposed to say i could i just couldn't explain it right away so i'm waiting for this area to dry because i will be glazing something over it a uh, gray color but i think it i don't know it's still wet so i'm just gonna go and do some detailing on the bottle first so that we wait for this to completely dry. So I'm gonna get a more pointy brush. I'm gonna get my yellow. Okay. I'm gonna get my yellow, okay? It's quite trans translucent. I'm gonna get my black, okay? Get your black, mix it with your yellow, and then get your orange color, like this color, guys. This will serve as the detail for the bottle. like that and then we're going to do the same thing right here before we do more detailing all right now using our mid yellow or cadmium yellow you add white to that okay you just add white so that it becomes more opaque because my yellow is quite translucent and using this yellow, I'm going to go over the highlight, making some brighter highlights. All right, like that. And then now I'm going to get my red color. Get your red. And using your red, just make some red highlights. And using this red color, we're going to go along the bottle line, bottle, I mean the bottle line, but super slightly, 
don't want to overdo this step it's a mere highlight just go along should not be super duper don't overdo that it's a mere highlight again and hello and welcome to my channel if you've been hearing a lot of street noises while i'm painting uh, i hope you're already i hope you get used to that all right like that so it's just a highlight i'm gonna make it thinner later by painting along um along the line some white paint i think it's pretty pretty dry Okay, so let's move on to fixing that. So get your white, get your white and just go along the excess paints that you see. Deleting those extra red that we don't really want, okay? All right, like that. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna use this opportunity to delete the sketch lines that I have here while waiting for some areas to dry because I really need to glaze. Okay. Okay. Using white, I'm lightening the left portion. Okay, now using this white, I'm going to dry brush, okay? So I'm going to remove the excess water and start... Actually, it's still too much. I'm going to dry brush just like that because I kind of want to give an effect of translucence. Be careful not to smear some... Uh, uh, black paint or red paint but if you do don't worry you can simply delete that color okay and I'm going to get some pink so I'm going to get my red and then add white using that color I'm gonna go inside the wine Just like that, very simple, right? It's very, very simple. All right, like that. Let me check. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna lighten the line on the mouth of the glass because I feel like it's too strong. So using white, I'm just gonna go and Just like that. Lightening the colors. We don't want any harsh lines um, for this painting. Soft lines and thin lines, That those are the things that we want for this painting. Again, we want to give it more control Okay, I'm going to use pure white to 
to apply it again some areas like that I'm just going to delete So here I need to lighten the colors. It's too strong. Like that. check okay this is very simple really simple I'm gonna get some gray color oops the yellow is mixing we don't want any yellow okay just get your gray and I'm just gonna make some more details gonna get my white and apply it here I'm gonna get my black. Just extra details. Okay. Just clean the edge. Okay. 
Right, I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is really good, guys. I think we did a good job. What do you think? Yay! So I think I need to sign this now because it's done. It's super simple, guys, as I told you. So I'm going to sign it, okay, before we remove the tape. And I'm going to use my black for my signature. I'll be, using my, I'll be using my pointy brush for my signature. And I'll sign right here. Okay, now let's remove the tape and let's do a big reveal. It's not really big, but uh, let's just remove the tape because someone said it's quite better if we remove the tape and see it. All right. Okay, two more sides and we're done. like that okay look at it look at this gorgeous very simple very minimalistic painting so i think we're done guys and i hope you enjoyed our painting tutorial for today again it's not always all the time that i do this type of tutorial very seldom actually um i hope you enjoyed this one wait I'm just cleaning it. I'm sorry guys, I'm just obsessed about clean lines. Uh, I'm just obsessing about those stuff. Whoops, sorry. I just use titanium white to clean some areas. Okay. This is just a cleaning portion. <laughs> All right. I just don't want to end the video with a painting that I'm not really happy about. Even if it's just the cleaning part. Okay. Let me check. All right. That's way better. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this one, guys. I hope you do this one as well. And if you do, let me know. Tag me on your posts either on Instagram or Facebook. My links are in my bio and yeah, in the description box below, I'll be linking down my social media so you can follow me as well. And if you like this video, like this, there's a thumbs up button right there and subscribe to my channel so that you know you get to be uh, informed or notified, hit the bell uh when i upload uh new videos like this so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this one because i did i absolutely did and see you in my next video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.